C D E F G. Hello, I'm Mary, and recently I got to go to Ace Comic Con Arizona, where I got to meet Charlie Cox and Christian Ritter, who, if you don't know, played Daredevil and Jessica Jones, and it was a lot of fun. I got to the con, and I was running late. The lines for um, Christian Ritter's photo op, because that's the first thing I had to do, were, were already in motion, so I was running late. And so I had to get there and check in, because I had VIP for Christian Ritter. So I had to check in, and I had to get my badge and my wristband. So by the time I got there, they were already lining people up for the photo ops. Um, and I was actually the last one of my VIP group to take the photo with her. So I got there, we got our little tote bags, so I got my badge and my wristband. In the tote bag, in case you're wondering, it came with links, which I thought was funny. Also hand sanitizer, which honestly I have been using these two. They gave us this Ace Comic Con enamel pin, and they gave us a Wonder Woman. Uh, pin, which is kind of ugly, but whatever. They gave us Deadpool socks, which I have yet to wear, even though they're pretty cute. I like them. <coughs> so these have Daredevil. Deadpool. I don't know if I said Daredevil. Deadpool socks. And then these just have his logo. Um, and yeah, so I got there. I went to line up for my photo op, which for the longest time I couldn't find. Ended up finding it, obviously. I took my photo with her. She was so sweet. Um, she was wearing a Bowie shirt, which I thought was, was cool because I'm a fan of Bowie. But she was just so nice. She was so tall, which of course, like, it's a well-known fact because she's Jessica Jones. Um, and yeah, and then straight after, I had my autograph with her. And she was really sweet. That's when I really got to talk to her. She was really, really sweet. So I had asked her, I was like, hey, can you write, like, happy birthday or maybe a heart or something? This is my birthday. And she said, yeah. She's like, yeah, how old are you turning? I said 17. And then I told her, um, I was like, by the way, like, you're such an inspiration to me because I want to be in film. I was like, yeah, and, like, the fact that you're directing Jessica Jones is a big deal to me and I love it and you, you inspire me a lot. She said, oh, thank you. And then she said that was really cool. And then when I was leaving, she said, it's like, oh, that's great. Okay, uh, it was really nice to meet you. And then she said, I'll see you in a few years. And that, oh, that warmed my heart. So that was really sweet. Um, and this is the auto. She wrote, happy birthday, Mary, and the heart, and then her name, another heart, XO. It's really cute. The <laughs> thing was the... Kristen Ritter and David Tennant! Talk about 
about it on stage. <laughs> in between the times of me getting my Christian Ritter autograph and the panel for Christian Ritter and David Tennant, I had like a couple, like a bit of time to just chill and look at the booths and everything. So the CW had a, had a booth there, and they had it there last year. They were promoting their new show, Rosewell, which is a reboot of some show, and I, I don't really know what it was. Point is that they had a booth, and they were giving away stuff, and they also, like, doing this little, like, photo thing where you could, like, there's a green screen, and you could take a photo uh, of, like, a, the background for the show or something. So I took the photo, and they were also giving away free posters, which I... If you didn't know this about me, I stopped watching CW shows, some of them, superhero shows, because they aren't as great as I remember them to be, in popular opinion. Um, but I did keep the posters, because I was like, maybe I could tell them, or maybe I could give them to friends who like them. Um, but yeah, so I got this Rosewell poster, I don't know, maybe I'll end up liking the show, I don't know. They had this one, and these were free, so I was like, why not? The Elseworlds poster. I don't remember when I used to like that. This one, I, I have actually watched some of it. I haven't finished it. And it's a good show. Black Lightning. It's really fun, really cool. Diverse cast. Really awesome, like, LGBT rep. And which I just got those, because why not? And here's a photo of me, like, the photo shoot thingy, just, yeah, here it is. <clears throat> so they give you the physical copy in this envelope. Yeah, they give you, they give you two copies. I don't know why, but, so this was my physical copy. It's the same photo, just twice. Um, I just wanted to do it because I thought it was cool. And, yeah, they had me take off my green jacket because it would interfere with the green screen, which, again, I thought was funny. Um, same day it was... Charlie Cox's panel. a story. So I was um, I was hesitant on asking a question for Christ for Christian Murder's panel because I was really nervous. And I had just like kinda gotten there and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put myself through that. <clears throat> and then for Charlie's panel which started like like right after I was like, okay, you know what, I'm gonna do it because I really wanted him to say hi to my friend and so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. And so I stood in line and I didn't there was a lot of people asking questions so I didn't think I was gonna get the chance to Luckily, I did. Yeah, so then I got to the front of the questions or whatever line, and um, I was shaking a lot. My legs were shaking, funny enough. Like, I couldn't, my feet were, were, were shaking. I don't even know why I was shaking so much. But I got to, the, to ask the question, and I look up at the screen, and then, like, it's just me. So I was like, whoa. I was, like, thrown back, and that's when, like, you could see in the clip that I'm about to show, like, me going, like, what? It's just really funny. But yeah, he was really sweet and awesome and it was so cool to have met him and he his laugh is so cute and I was really happy. And then the next day I got to take my photo with him. Um, but yeah, so here's the clip. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> uh, hi Charlie. Hi. Uh, my name is Maricela. I'm from Los Angeles and uh, well firstly I just wanted to say um, I got really close to a friend online from Mexico and her name is Vale. And she, um, she's obviously in Mexico, <laughs> so I just wanted to know if you could say hi, because we got close through you and, like, Jessica Jones, and so I just wanted to say if you could say hi to Vale. Uh, what, what's her name? Vale. Vale. Hi, Vale. <laughs> um, and I also, my question is, um, if you could have any Marvel character as your either villain or sidekick, who would it be? And obviously, as like Daredevil, who would you want a villain or sidekick to be? Um, I, you know, I, I would love to do. I would. I would. I mean, this is kind of. This is so crazy. It would never. You know, I, 
it could it would never happen probably you know what I mean it's almost impossible to imagine um, I, and I always feel like I have to say that because sometimes I say things I answer these kind of questions and then the internet takes it as the word of God <laughs> he wasn't wrong this literally came out a couple of hours after he said it so that this is, is going to happen you know Charlie confirms that you know but um you know, like, I, I, I really like the, the Daredevil Spider-Man stuff in the comics. It's really fun, you know. And there's one, there's one, there's one issue in particular where um, Matt Murdock proves that he's not Daredevil because Daredevil shows up in the courtroom and, it, of course, it's Peter Parker wearing M M Matt the Daredevil suit, which is such a lame alibi because it's... <laughs> but it'd be so cool to do, you know, something like that. And I think Tom Holland is, a, is an amazing Spider-Man. Next day, I got there almost late. What the heck was that? Day two, I got there kind of late for Charlie Cox's photo op. I did get there in time, though, but almost late. Um, and <clears throat> while we were in line, Taryn Edgerton's panel had already started. I think King's been very cool, and, and I think I sort of felt a bit like it was a false representation of who I am. I'm nowhere near that smooth or good winning. And, um, and Eddie Eagle just felt like a really great opportunity to show a thing. Which I was really bummed about because I, um, I got late to the, because after my photo op, I ran to his panel so I could get in line for a question. Just met Charlie Cox. Now I'm on my way to Terry Nedrickson's panel, which has actually started. So there's a lot of stuff. Churchill just had the most anxiety-inducing existence I could have done. Because I didn't have a photo with him because I couldn't afford it. Um, also, I wanted to ask him a question and also have him say hi to my friend again. Um, but I didn't get to because they ran out of time. Um, I did get to see him like close up though. Not that close, but like in person uh, after my photo op. You know, acting work doesn't happen in a study by a desk. You know, really, it happens in your, uh, your imagination. But with my photo op with Charlie, I was lying, and then he was like, hi, like, what's your name? And I was like, oh, that, like, sh shocked me, I don't know why, because I was like, oh, he asked my name. So I was like, oh, it's Mary. And then he's like, hi, Mary, uh, nice, nice to see you. And I was like, oh, you too. And then we did the photo op, and then <clears throat> as I was leaving, he's like, God bless you, Mary, goodbye. And I was like, oh, thank you. I don't know why that, that also was like, because it's like, it's Daredevil, and Daredevil's like Catholic, so it's like, Wow, that means a lot. <laughs> Here's the photo with Charlie. Um, I actually have it framed as well. But yeah, this is it. I have it framed. Um, I didn't have enough for an autograph either. Hopefully he goes again next year so I can go again and then get an autograph for this one. My phone is currently dying so I'm going to go to Carl's Jr. and charge it. And I don't have anything else besides Tom Hiddleston's panel. so. I'm gonna wait till that. And um, yeah, Taron Edgerton's panel was so funny. He's so charming and awesome. And yes, I didn't really get to take a photo with him, sadly, because I couldn't afford it. But yeah, and also Charlie was so sweet. Oh my God. He asked my name and then when I left, he was like, God bless you, Mary. Uh, sorry for not vlogging yesterday. I was really nervous. Uh, this is my fourth con and each one I've gone to alone. So, um, Got really nervous, but I'll try better today. <laughs> and of course, Tony was at the top of that list from early in my career. Makes his first reception today, so we look at over and I'm currently speed walking towards my siblings because they're here to pick me up um, but just want to say that it was great it was fun it was amazing 
um, and hopefully they have one next year so I can go again and meet, I don't know, whoever they have, <laughs> hopefully Marvel actors, um, and yeah.